Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. No brother. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Can somebody post this to the A team? Uh, this exact link that I gave you uh, to the A team. I can't do it. I don't know why. Sometimes like that. Okay, now I'll put the link here. Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So a little introduction again uh, to this chanting process. So we do this every day together here and it's very powerful it's a very powerful way just a second here yeah, yeah. this is a very powerful way to connect to our source and uh, it's not it's not like it's a religious thing but it's a spiritual experience of connecting to our source and it's really beautiful to see the results uh, it's actually quite miraculous and amazing to see that when each person connects to their source through this very simple process of chanting these spiritual mantras that awaken our spiritual consciousness their individual relationship with source begins to manifest and so this is a a lineage called the Gaudiya Vaishnava lineage, and, and which has a simple process of chanting these uh, mantras, mantras, a way to free your mind from problems, anxieties, difficulties, and raise our consciousness and experience of the spiritual reality and dimension. And it works really well. And, and so what you probably see here, people be coming on, Live, they'll, they'll look kind of uh, different when they're chanting. <clears throat> sometimes they laugh and cry and and uh, exhibit extraordinary states of consciousness that are unusual and most uncommon. And so, just <clears throat> it's very beautiful. Um, we're here to teach about the uh, the benefits of this, and so just stick with this. Uh, uh, just come regularly. And you'll see how beautiful it is, how wonderful it is, how, how um, healing it is. 
many ways and many levels. And how it can free us from this, uh, the fears, fear mongering that's going on nowadays and uh, bring us into a state of love and ecstasy and happiness. Yeah. Okay. So thank you. Welcome here if you're new. And um, if you have any questions, you can always leave uh, comments on our channel here. We're also broadcast on Facebook Live, which I'll actually put the link now. But everybody stay here on, on YouTube that's here now. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Good morning there. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Smash the like button, everybody, or push it, whatever you want. And share this with your friends. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Morning there. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nichananda Sri Advaita Garadhar Sri Vasari Gaur Bhaktavrinda This is called the Panchatattva Mantra. It's a good one to chant before you chant the Hare Krishna Mantra. The Panchatattva Mantra was um, basically uh, man, uh, a revelation of these divine beings and avatars who came here 550 years. They appeared in India to promote this chanting as an easy way in this, this special time, this is called the Kali Yuga, to advance spiritually without a lot of difficulties and efforts especially when you're in association of those who have this special ability and mercy to chant these mantras in, in this ecstatic level of consciousness, which is here in this Sunday. So far, most of the people have been exposed to this. They don't know the value of the kind of chanting that's being done in this Sangha. And so we're here to help humanity understand how powerful this can be in, in changing everything for the better, transforming the world, transforming the individual consciousness, you know, giving that sovereignty and freedom and happiness everyone is looking for in a very easy, practical way. Like the avatar Lord Chaitanya said in his uh, last discourse, and they call the Shashastaka prayers. That uh, this chanting process is really the only really practical and feasible way to make spiritual advancement and to be liberated in this age of Kali. Uh, chanting the names of these spiritual incarnations who come here to deliver us. 
So this is the process we teach. Stick with it and you'll find it's free, no charge, donations accepted, with no charge, if it's from your heart. Thank you. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasari Gaurabhata Vinda Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasari Gaurabhata Vinda Nichananda, Nichananda, Shri Krishna Chaitanya. 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 Shri Advaita, Shri Advaita, Nichananda, Shri Krishna Chaitanya. Nichananda, 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 Nichananda, Shri Krishna Chaitanya. Shri Advaita, Shri Advaita, Nichananda, Nichananda. Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Shri Krishna Chaitanya. Shri Advaita, Shri Advaita, Nichananda, Nichananda. Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Nichananda, Shri Advaita, Shri Advaita, Nichananda, Nichananda, Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Shri Krishna Chaitanya. <laughs> 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 Shri Advaita, Shri Advaita, Nicharatta, Shri Krishna Chaitanya. Another good perk is uh, you don't get colds as much as anymore. You don't need to. Your body's always purified by mucus. Seems to come up when you uh, when you feel these ecstatic states manifesting, which is really nice. Hey, you blow your nose. See, like Lalita there, blow your nose, and you don't have to get a cold so much. Colds are uncomfortable. This is ecstatic. <laughs> you know. <laughs> The ecstatic tears, also the tears that are coming, you know, are going to wipe your eyes quite a bit. You know? uh, these tears are uh, joyful tears. They're not like the tears of people that uh, cry in, in the world, the worldly level crying. This is a lifting up of your consciousness, and you cry tears of uh, God tears, truth tears, ecstatic tears, cosmic tears. It's amazing, and laughing also. You're laughing at the, uh, the spiritual nature of life and things. And you're just spontaneously these things happen and lifting. It's a lifting of consciousness into a bold, happy, you know, loving state. You know, regardless of your surroundings, regardless of the fear mongering, you know, being preached by and, and uh, by mainstream media and all. A very practical way of being lifted above this all. No more fears, no more anxieties. I mean, what a great way this uh, avatar came to give us. And if you chant in this association with these kinds of people here that are already ecstatic, very quickly you become ecstatic. So this is an, is an opportunity for those who've been following uh, in different ways, different paths. This is a primo path, very nice, very beautiful, very effective. 
you feel the results very quickly. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Nichananda Nichananda Sri Krishna Chaitanya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Nichananda Nichananda Sri Krishna Chaitanya Sri Advaita Sri Advaita Nichananda Sri Krishna Chaitanya It's really beautiful once you've been initiated like this. This is like a, a initiating your spiritual awakening. Then when you call these names, these these spiritual beings who are from the spiritual dimension of God, they come and give you their help, like an ally, like a, a comforter. It's like when Jesus was teaching spirituality, not religion, spirit. He was passing on this Holy Spirit so that people so that people could connect with this helper, this, this supreme spirit, which we're all meant to be connected with. Yeah. Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Nichananda, Nichananda, Shri Krishna Chaitanya. See, it's effective when you're able to call these names. They're actually like these beings come, the spiritual spirit of them come, and you feel elevated and lifted. See, this happens very fast here. Otherwise, you could chant for years and years and years like people are doing. And this is what we're trying to help the people in ISKCON and Gaudiya Math and Gaudiya Samiti. They've been chanting years and years and years and are not having the effects that we have here. And they still don't understand, but you know we're going to keep sharing, and keep showing, and keep demonstrating uh, that this is a very special opportunity for everyone. You know, wh whether you're religious or non-religious, whether you're a saint or you're a sinner, everybody can benefit here. We're we're here to, for everyone. We're for everyone. You know. This consciousness is so sublime. It's this is the first fruits of it. Uh, to where people they don't there's no hey we overcome hatred very fast hatred for others hatred for opposite sides you know the, the rights and lefts right wings and left wings you transcend all this stuff you know and you go into the the the, uh, the same bird you know you say oh right left oh. So there's a unity there. So you could experience a unity, I'm not the divisiveness. The illusion always trying to divide everything and everybody, causing hatred and racism and hat hatred, you know, like this deceptions and, and uh, deceit, hypocrisies. All of that is overcome here by this chanting and this association. I have not found anything better than this. And come here and test it out for yourself. No blind belief here, just personal experiences. Sri Advaita Nichananda Sri Krishna Sri Advaita Nichananda Sri Sri Advaita Nichananda Sri Krishna Chaitanya Sri Advaita Nichananda Sri Krishna Chaitanya Sri Advaita Nichananda Sri Krishna Chaitanya Sri Sri Advaita Nichananda Sri Krishna Chaitanya Sri Advaita Nichananda Sri Krishna Chaitanya Sri Advaita Nichananda Sri Krishna Chaitanya Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Uh, 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 
this heals the split between the bird, you know? Like uh, Richard says, now the birds can fly. Couldn't can't fly when you're, you're separated like that. You know, you see, uh, this is this is my enemy. This is my friend because we're on the same side, and this is my enemy on the other side. No, come on, man. we got to all have the same spirit. You come here, you start to experience that. It's a greater level of happiness. Then it's win-win. You work for the benefit of all humanity, not just this one side. Not the elites against the masses and the, you know, or, or the elites, you know, again, yeah, you know, elites against the masses and the masses being tricked by the elites. There's no need. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, go ahead. Nichananda, Nichananda, Sri Krishna Chaitanya. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Yeah, this, these uh, names, they're, they're the source where all these streams of consciousness come from. You know, the right and left, you know, all, it all enters into this this place, this consciousness, and it's a very wonderful place to dwell. That's where true happiness is, and uh, true freedom is for everybody. We're all connected to that place. It's having to be in association with beings that are in that place, and uh, and you're just raised into that consciousness very easily through this chanting and association. For those who are raising to this, there's no other real practical way to do this. Sri Krishna Chaitanya. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare We also have discourses here which are coming up here and uh, what they are basically are discourses from people who have been advanced and raised up in consciousness through this chanting. And they, they left um, these very deep realizations about uh, what, what is life really about. Many things that nobody has learned in schools in uh, that they're Taught, not taught by their parents, all these things. This is, way, this is a disciplined lineage of this knowledge, this body of knowledge, and this way of chanting. And uh, it, uh, it just gives great insight and understanding about the principles that make life work really nicely in a way that's uh, really effective and optimal. They really optimize our living in this world and uh, understanding of this world so that we can rise above so many things. Teachings about uh, the difference between illusion or a temporary life and eternal life, practical teachings like this. And uh, as you chant and associate with people here, we get purified and we begin to really savor these talks, relish them. Because it's it's what's called absolute truth, and we uh, and, uh, and these this knowledge distinguishes it from the illusion. Okay? And when you when you understand the illusion in relationship to the eternal truth, that's where true happiness is. It's where real fulfillment is. Unfulfillment is just not understanding this connection. You only uh, you only understand temporary life. Yeah. That's why people uh, turn often to drugs or suicide 
because they don't understand their eternal nature. They don't, uh, uh, and sometimes this this temporary world, like at this time, becomes very difficult, very unsavory, you know, not relishable at all. The more and more limitations. You notice in the last couple of years, especially more, more, and more problems, more sicknesses, more viruses. Oh, just oh, more and more, more and more catastrophes, and it's relentless. So we need a way to rise above this, the unhappiness being brought about in the world, and this is a very practical way to do it. When you understand why things are happening now. Get clarity on this. Most people, they're split. See, they, they only understand half of the picture from this side or that side. They don't see the whole, the whole integrated thing and holistically. And so when you do, then you have real knowledge, full knowledge of what is eternal and what is temporary. And not just what is temporary, what is for survival while we're in this world. And then we're not sure about what's you know, uh, going to happen in the next life or how to get access to the next life even here now. This is what we're doing here. We can get access to what is spiritual even here now and give us that happiness of, that, of what is to come. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Shri Advaita Nichananda, Shri Krishna Chaitanya. Shri Advaita Nichananda, Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Shri Advaita Nichananda, Shri Krishna Chaitanya, 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 Shri Krishna Chaitanya. Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Shri Krishna Chaitanya. Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Shri Krishna Chaitanya. I feel like reading some Bhagavad Gita here. Yeah. Oh, let's see, let's see, Bhagavad Gita. Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya, Jaya Nityananda, Jaya Sri Advaita Chandra, Jaya Gorbhaktivinda. Oh, it's so nice to be with you people, you devotees. Thank you. Wow, oh, what a great family here. We're, we're building, we're growing. All right, so Bhagavad Gita, this is uh, uh, chapter, chapter four, Transcendental Knowledge. Oh, let me look at the Prabhupada's version here. Ah. Okay. Bhagavad Gita as it is. So, if you if you notice, the title is uh, Bhagavad Gita as it is. Yeah, Bhagavad Gita as it is. And so, like Prabhupada said, 
you know, that there have been many Bhagavad Gita's written uh, before, but the best ones are those who are written by real devotees. See, real devotees means they have the real knowledge of Bhagavad Gita, which is only uh, is only exposed to those who are real devotees who have followed the real path, either in this life or a previous one. If you followed the path in the previous life, then you will teach the real path in this life. If you follow the real path in this life, and you because you're you know like coming to it in this life, then you will teach the real path in this life, and you will follow it in your next life, and also this continues on and on. This is the this is the royal road of yoga. This is the best of all yogas unions that you can get with source. It's wonderful and gets more and more wonderful all the time. So what's nice here is we we have examples of real followers and false followers in our sangha, which is very important actually. Everybody has a good role to preach. Just like Madhusudana was saying yesterday that uh, you know because I was using the example of some devotees. Uh, that were actually acting inappropriately or in a wrong way. And he said, well, actually, you know, that was, uh, that was okay. You, you can't use them to criticize because they were divine beings from a previous life. And I said, no, no, we got to learn from their example. That's why they come here. That's why you got to learn from the example of the, uh, the false followers here in our center also. And the false followers need to learn. Matter of fact, I'm doing something... Uh, more unique than what was done 550 years ago. I'm gonna, I'm going to attempt to turn our false followers into real followers without them leaving and creating false paths. Now that would be a miracle, huh? See, that wasn't done before. They just let the false followers fall, drop off, and create false paths. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, attempt to take the false followers we have, this sangha, even. And, and turn them into real followers if they will listen. Because if you want to, um, if you want to experience the real followers, experience like Lalita Ganga and Govinda, and others coming up to that platform, you know, Janakis and all of that, they're real, dedicated followers. They follow the real path. You know, their life and soul is Guru and Goranga, not just Goranga directly, but Guru. See. That's the secret. So you false followers out here in our Sangha, if you want the kind of ecstasy and conclusiveness of Lalita Ganga who's facing us right now and others working up to it, then you follow their path. If you want that, otherwise you'll be, uh, you won't be conclusive and you won't be as ecstatic as them. You, you, and, and, and the symptoms is you're trying to teach the teacher. It's always that way. You think you know better than them. You you have controversy with their conclusions. Remember, chapter twelve of the uh, the Lila said there were at, there were two types of followers. One were the false followers, and the other was the real followers. The real followers had the real mercy of Lord Chaitanya. See, that's chapter twelve, Vadi Lila. And how did you know? Ah, the real mercy of Lord Chaitanya is there ecstatic, like you see Lalita Gang and others who are following the real path. Okay? And conclusive also. Okay? They have that balance. They have the full thing. The Lord does that. So if you want to learn and be a real follower, whether you're in this sangha or outside, you follow the example of the witnesses, how they follow. And and what, what basically, I'll just tell you just the truth. It's pretty simple when you hear it right. Uh, they're just, in, this is just God, that God that everybody is connected to is just saying, hey, you see, this is my real follower here. See? This is, I bless them with this ecstasy. I bless them with this understanding. So that's God. It's not, you know, you know it's just they're following the way, the right way, and, and the Lord's blessed them with this ecstasy and this conclusiveness. And they're the ones who carry on the real line. Okay? So, Otherwise, uh, you, the the false line is preached, just like in within our sangha here. I mean, within uh, within Krishna consciousness as a whole, 
They're the real followers and the false followers. The real followers will appreciate ecstatic devotees that are in this sangha. If they, if they don't, they're false followers still. But they, we can turn them into real followers if they will listen and believe in these conclusions. I mean, there's no reason people should not believe in these conclusions because they get the results of prema bhakti. I mean, it's all described with Lalita's uh, experiencing right there, you know, in the scriptures. It's describing all these things. And she has uh, firm faith in Guru and Krishna. By the way, if anybody's experienced a little bit of envy because I'm praising her, well, that's good. That's your purification. Because that's what you need to go through. Um, when, when, when Lord Chaitanya would praise certain devotees, tears would come to the eyes of the purified ones. And if any envy came or anything, that's your purification too. Or jealousy or thing. Why? What about me and all that stuff? Anyway, purification. Okay. It's very, uh, this is very deep levels of realizations here of the absolute. Very pure. Very pure. Very purifying. Takes away all the spots of the leopard. Yeah. Yeah, proof is in the pudding. And uh, so, anyway, that's what we're here to do is teach. That real Krishna consciousness is you've got to see where God is actually blessing people with this ecstatic devotion that Lord Chaitanya blessed people with. That's the revival. If it's not happening somewhere, well, these people are not quite, they need shiksha. They need to hear from the real followers of Lord Chaitanya who have the real blessings of ecstatic devotion. It doesn't matter how high in standing you are in some group. It's how high your bhakti really is, how deep it really is, how deep your understanding and realization is. That's what it's all about. Not how, well, uh, you know, look at uh, Lalita. She's just a housewife and I'm a sannyasi or he's a sannyasi. He has a big title. That's all external stuff. This is internal internal truth. So how do we get to this place? Let's console Bhagavad Gita. Oh, chapter 4. Oh, no, let's get another chapter here. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Hmm. What's this here? What is it here? Oh, 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 Prabhupada's book. Okay, yeah, it's Prabhupada's book. Oh, yeah, yeah. There it is. All right, this is chapter nine. Yes. Yeah, okay, so this is the most confidential knowledge, uh, chapter 9. Uh, the Supreme Lord said, My dear Arjuna, because you are never envious of me, I shall impart to you this most secret wisdom, knowing which you shall be relieved of the miseries of material existence. So, so that's it in a nutshell. Okay. Because you are never envious of me, and you are my dear friend, okay. I shall impart to you this confidential knowledge. You can't sidestep this. You got to be a sincere friend of Krishna, and the way it's done now is through the by medium of the bona fide spiritual master. See, this is the real path. We're teaching the real path here. The Lord has provided this situation. He's provided this qualification. He's done it. I mean, it's a miracle that he's provided this kind of situation where he's speaking through a fool like Laharidas. I mean, I'm, I'm amazed myself. I'm convinced, you know, because <laughs> I see the result. I see people who become ec ecstatic like Arjuna becomes ecstatic, who understand confidential knowledge because the Lord is actually speaking here. 
Yeah. Otherwise, it couldn't be done. If I was speaking on my own or on behalf of the false ego and or the behalf even of the mode of goodness, this result would not happen. No way. That's why it doesn't happen in any of the groups. Narayan Raj group, no. Iskand, no. No, or none of the groups. So this is proof. This is proof this is empowered. Because that result, that transcendental result is manifest. Okay? And people following that path, that's why you, you're the example. This is a very narrow path, very narrow gate. All paths lie upon Krishna like pearls on a stream. String, but this is the best of all. But there, in there, it's no path that lies upon Krishna as beautiful, as wonderful, as powerful as this one. See, and only those, even there, even though you may be here, you won't be able to understand this unless you are like this, unless you become a sincere friend and disciple and well wisher of a bona fide spiritual master. This confidentiality will not. You will not understand this. I, this is proof it's in here. You could see if you have the intelligence, if you're a real follower here, you could see who's a false follower here. So I say this so we can make everybody a real follower. Why not? That's a nice challenge, huh? Why should we just have people just following, you know, go Hari Das in name only? You know? And not really in their heart, really like, well, I don't know if I don't like this thing. You know, what he says, it's not wrong. You know, it's not right. This is, you shouldn't preach like this. So whoever becomes convinced, and we, I try to convince everybody. Yeah, I write quote verses, all these things, but still people have to come to the point of accepting they're outdone and outshined and they can't win. Not when not when Krishna is using somebody genuinely. Because he's the one who knows everything, right? That's why I, I challenge all the gurus. I want to put them to the test. I want to put what's in here to the test. I want to make sure this is the real Krishna. I know it is anyway, but wouldn't it be nice if everybody knew? Can you imagine how many people would get to Vrindavan? Oh, good. Rug is there. All right. Could you imagine? Wouldn't that be amazing to see how many flowers we can bring to Vrindavan? So, yeah. Just gather up all the chicks. Why, why, why does it have to be we got to separate the wheat from the chaff and the goats from the sheep? Why not take all the goats and the sheep and make them all sheep? listening to the same voice. I think that's the miracle the Lord wants to do in this time, which has never really been done before. We're in that kind of time. Whatever, whatever comes through this kind of channeling usually comes true, right? Okay. The, the preaching before was separating the sheep from the goats. Now a new message has come. Oh, let's bring the sheep and the goats together and merge them into all sheep following the same voice. Okay. How about a one world order ordered like that? Where we all recognize our source, you know, and it's win win. What does God need? Could you imagine being so close to God that he's, he's fulfilled in everything and then you become fulfilled in everything? That's the kind of closeness that's being offered here. Many of us are getting that. It's amazing. I'm amazed, you know, just meeting somebody like Maria and all of Lord Tejani shows up like that. Teaching her all kinds of things now. Amazing. Yeah. 
So that's all. That's all you have to do is really understand Bhagavad Gita. Really, uh, uh, if you can get that, it's really this. Uh, yeah, this stuff is really true. I, I wrote, put the posting up there that when you're ready to be delivered, the Lord sends you a bona fide spiritual master. He comes as that spiritual master. He comes through that spiritual master to deliver you. If you don't really believe that's here, well, keep staying around long enough to see that it is here. Because you have to have that kind of situation for you to be delivered, really. Otherwise, you still need shiksha till you become up to that standard of being able to recognize because you may get the situation but you may not come up to the standard and recognize it see but when you recognize it wow my spiritual master really did come here to deliver me so i say listen look at the result if this wasn't true that the spiritual master that krishna didn't come as the spiritual master in this situation why is lalita ganga who believes that realizes that why is she so ecstatic why can she read the highest levels of the spiritual literature that not even these gurus can read or properly read in ecstasy like she does like lord chaitanya did you want to know how lord chaitanya chanted and read well it's you got to see the only way you'll know is to see a person like lalita ganga or johan Or anybody, River even, like she's coming up the ranks. She's got a bit of an edge still, but that's all right. So she's getting there. Yeah, that's how you know. Okay. So if you stay here long enough and you really want to know, if you're really hungry for the truth, You'll, you'll, you'll see it and, and you'll become, if you, you'll start to see how glorious this ecstasy is. She's just exhibiting what Lord Chaitanya exhibited. And if you don't say very good or you think, uh, 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 you know, you say contaminated. What's wrong with her showing what Lord Chaitanya, the great mercy, <laughs> everybody in ISKCON and Gaudi Amath and Gaudi Samhita worshiping Lord Chaitanya as the greatest incarnation in the world. Well, prove it, man. You'll prove it when you see, because Lord Chaitanya is coming through her. And others like her here in this Sangha, nowhere else. Prove it. Otherwise, you're just in name only. It's hypocrisy still. <laughs> you overcome hypocrisy like that just by acknowledging, oh, wow, Lalita Ganga, you're so fortunate. Look at look at uh, John. What's his name? The German guy. John Andre. Boom. Oh, yeah. He, uh, gives sincere praise not him. Look how ecstatic he's become. And that's because of sincerely appreciating devotees. Oh, look at Maria. She, her, her favorite person here. Lalita. Oh, I just love Lalita. She is so great. Oh, she is so insane. Oh, she's so wonderful. I really like her. See, well, this is Krishna. See, this is, I know. I said, oh, you see. You can't like a Lalita like this, non-envious, unless you have a, a good heart. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's read the verse here. <laughs> The Supreme Lord said, my dear Arjuna, because you are never envious of me, I shall impart to you this most secret wisdom, knowing which you shall be relieved of the miseries of material existence. Oops. Now, wouldn't it be nice to be relieved of the material miseries of material existence? See, isn't that the people following the real path? They're, they're relieved of the miseries. Otherwise, the miseries are there. They remain. So ultimately, that's why ultimately, if you, <laughs> if you come and you hear and you learn about the real path, you can, you'll get that result. You can see people that are relieved of the material miseries here already. Because they they listen to where Krishna is speaking 
through a bona fide medium, a by medium for the Lord. See? So, and you can also be elevated to that platform. You follow the real path. Look at Lolita Ganga. She can preach so nice. She's totally satisfied. She's just relishing transcendental mellows, which the Lord came to give in this world. That's why he came here. He came to relish mellows and to give them to others. She's relishing mellows and giving them to others. So they're on the same, you know, same uh, platform, the same uh, family member. That's why you want to know, Lord Chaitanya, your best way of knowing is through the devotee, the mirror of the devotees here that are ecstatically connected with the real path and the real Lord. Otherwise, no, people don't know Krishna. It's all just a name. Crying schools without the crying. Purebhakti.com without the pure bhakti. See? Some people, they don't like me pointing these things out. Oh, you're not a try, you know, you're not. You're, well, what, what is the point anyway? If I don't tell the truth, these people won't come anyway. They still, they, they, they're they dedicated to the illusion, the illusion that these groups are going to liberate them, even though they don't have liberated symptoms. It's better to know the truth. And if you can't hack it, stay with that until you you start to see, you know, like we're here to teach the highest truth distinguished from illusion. That's the welfare of all. I don't compromise in this preaching, I, you know. <laughs> the Lord didn't compromise. He was very, he was like a lion. Why, why I, what, I can't, I have to sacrifice being used by the lion? Because somebody speculates on what they think Krishna consciousness is? That's why those persons don't set the example. You want to set the example, you got to learn from these devotees. Otherwise, you, you teach the wrong example. It's not the right example to go out and sell out and, 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 and go out and listen to people's classes who live, leave here. That's why you see they eventually leave. Okay. Or they do, you know, so... Um, I, I want to give you guys, even you, a chance. That's why I speak out. Whoever you know, who you are out there. You know, this is this is not this is uh, this doesn't show the right example. You see, Lalita Ganga going to classes of people who leave here. You see, Johan doing that. You know, follow their example. Otherwise, you won't be like her. So in some lifetime, the false followers, have, and that includes a, a wide range, that means a lot of devotees are false followers still, even in our Sunday. See? You want to be a real follower, you got to follow the real path. This is your opportunity. I'm not cheating anybody. I'm not going to do what Lord Chaitanya says, Oh, Ramachandrapur, you're such an intelligent person, which he wasn't, and he didn't have any benefit. Yeah, he had no benefit. Yeah, he had no benefit because, um, here, this is too small here. Let's see, we'll do it like this. Yeah, yeah, he had no benefit. Because the Lord didn't tell him the truth. Remember, the truth will set you free. He just gave him etiquettes. Okay? But Devananda Pandit, on the other hand, was chastised with the truth. The truth was he was not bona fide. Just like Gohari Das, I say these gurus are not bona fide unless they're residents of Vrindavan. Unless they have the ecstatic symptoms, they are cheating their disciples and themselves. Therefore, they have a chance not to die in illusion because the truth will set them free. Maybe they won't be set free, but maybe some of their disciples will understand that this is truthful, that this is their opportunity. What for me to compromise and hold back is the false path. 
you know. So Lord Chaitanya showed these things. That's why I was trying to tell these people. You know, they don't. Some people think, "Oh, Gohar, you shouldn't point these things out." Well, you know, that's that's you know another person's opinion, but that's not the Parampara's opinion. That wasn't Prabhupada. He pointed out. He said, "Actually, none of my god brothers are qualified to be acharya." And then the Maharaj comes after him, says, "Actually, all the uh, god brothers are qualified to be acharya." So, whose opinion do you accept? Well, my my I accept Prabhupada's. See, so that's what it comes down to. That's why you see, we Prabhupada came to me and gave this. Very amazing, juicy order to preach this. Yeah. And people will say, oh, well, how can you do that? Well, hey, man, I'm here to teach the real path. Prabhupada taught. He taught who was really bona fide and that you have to be a resident of Vrindavan to actually, um, um, to actually be a, a acharya. See, and if you're a real resident of Vrindavan, you can recognize who is not an Acharya. And in all of these Sanghas, they can't do that very well. You notice? They can't recognize who's a real Acharya. And we're here to test. I'm here to test, you know. <laughs> and, the, you know, if you do recognize who is a real Acharya living in this world and take shelter, they're preaching, you become like a Lalita Ganga or a Yohan or a River. You become an ecstatic devotee, otherwise not. People think I shouldn't say these things or teach these things. Well, hey, man, I'll, I'm satisfied just making 5, 10, 20, 30, a million. Yeah, whoever will accept the real preaching that you got to be a real a resident of Vrindavan with, with the ecstatic symptoms to be a real spiritual master in our line. And if you're not, you're bogus. You're cheating yourself and others. They should not be bowing down to you and giving you worship. You're just an idol. You're it's idol worship. Yeah. So Amy says, I can see how listening to other preaching can poison bhakti. Yeah, I mean bhakti is very pure. You just need the pure understanding. You need the pure conception preached, not a mixed conception. Not mixing liberated souls with non-liberated souls. And that's what I've seen in Vaishnavism all the way into the Naramraj group and the Radhakan Babaji's. Mixing non... I mean, when I say liberation, I mean liberation in Vrindavan liberation. That's our real line. That's really special mercy. And Lord Chaitanya wants to give that mercy, but you got to go to his real representative. And they're rare, 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 rare. One out of a million you may be lucky to find an associate of Lord Chaitanya here. And that's why this works here, because obviously you have found I don't even have to say, you know, yeah, it's here. You can just look at the results. The same ecstatic devotion that was here 550 years ago is again here. Otherwise, it wouldn't be here. That's why it wasn't in the Narayan Raj group or the Radhakun Babaji group. It just wasn't enough. Even though they want to be in their minds, oh, we're, you know, on that high level and rade rade, but no manifestation in the body, in the temple, in the eyes that you are, you are the Lord's offering. You are the butter, the ghee, the conch, and the water, the living sacrifice. No proof of that, which we have here now. That's why I preach boldly like that, because it is as it is. Man. It's the most fantastic manifestation of Lord Taitana and mercy on the planet. There is none other as, as a good example as this. Prove it if you think there is, and nobody does and will and can. 
All they can do is boast. No, well, yeah, there's over oh, this and group and that group and the Ryan Maharaj and, and Ananta Das Babaji and all of that, but no manifestation of being a living sacrifice. Of that, what the Lord was really looking through, Jesus said, you know, the Lord is very much looking for worship in spirit and truth. Well, I don't think you can get any more. This people, it's too much truth you're speaking there, Gohari. What, you're telling people that they can't be a liberating devotee, a liberator, and a, a savior for people, even, even unless they're unless they're a resident of Vrindavan. You can't, you know that preaching shouldn't be preached. You got to preach the bogus teachings that they're preaching now in Vaishnavism. The, you, you, you cannot see with your own eyes any demonstration of ecstatic devotees and the ecstatic conclusive statements of the Vedas. That should not be seen because Maya wants to cover up the truth. Well, I'm here to uncover it. We're here to uncover it. My Lord... You know, and this knotted flute here had enough of this, you know, all these illusions being preached in the name of the highest levels of Krishna consciousness with no manifestation. Aren't you sick of these crying schools with no tears? Aren't you sick of these purebhakti.coms without any pure bhakti representatives? Are you sick? I mean, I'm sick of seeing this, man. I think my Lord is sick of seeing this bogus stuff. You know, these people taking disciples and calling themselves spiritual teachers, but they take worship like like that's reserved for the Uttamadikaris that are actually given Lord Chaitanya's transcendental grace. And they show that they're they're bogus because they, they can't even take the title Srila. They're afraid. Oh well they can take the title Bhakti Vedanta with that because you know it's in name only. They got no bhakti and lots of uh, speculative Vedanta that doesn't do anything. Doesn't awaken ecstatic devotion or anybody. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let's see here. Let's see what Prabhupada says here. Oops. What is this? So poor port. By his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Prabhupada. As a devotee hears more and more about the Supreme Lord, he becomes enlightened. This hearing process is recommended in Srimad Bhagavatam. See, I was telling a person today about that. You know, you got to really hear from the devotees because, you know, this guy was, um, you know, nice, a nice person, you know, and he could see, you know, that there was something wrong with this, uh, the Vaidhi process. It's not really like perfect. It's not, you know, it's, you know, and the example of that is like, it's not very attractive to many intelligent persons because you know, the persons are hard hearted and mean often. And, and then, uh, but the person I told him, I said, well, hey man, you want to understand because this is, we're not teaching that Vaidhi Bhakti process. We're teaching Raganuga Bhakti, which is very rare to actually teach the real deal. You know, you have to do, but you have to come and you got to listen. Otherwise, you know, you don't understand what we're doing. You got to come inside. You know, it's not this Colin guy. You can see, you know, the dialogue there. He's attracted to Prabhupada's books, you know, but he doesn't like the Vaidhi thing. And I said, well, I, we're here. You know, you're lucky to get this option. Usually people don't have this option. Usually only you have this, the Vaidhis. The Vaidhis, more thousands of people follow more religion than they follow this in Vaishnavism. This is one out of a million devotees. And I'm teaching this. So here's your opportunity. 
You know, and if you don't come and follow the process, see, hear those who hear more and more, you'll understand the value of this. Otherwise, you won't. You just sit there and speculate and think this is like some other path. And, you know, so anyway, people, you if you want the alternative, that's why Prabhupada came to me, give people an option, an alternative to Vaidhi. What? Yeah, this is a rare thing. You can become an ecstatic devotee like devotees here, which is very rare. You can become one out of, the, one out of those millions of Vaishnavas, even now in this day. Even in this Sangha, you can become one of those millions of devotees. But you got to follow the path of the real followers who, who are proven. See, you are the verse, Lalita, and whoever else. See, you're the verse of a real follower who is continuing to be showered with the real mercy of Lord Chaitanya. See, chapter 12, Adi Lila. The real followers are, and the false followers aren't. They become inconclusive. They teach the wrong path. They teach prost being a spiritual prostitute. You know, they come here and then they go elsewhere, you know, where, where you know, they do what shouldn't be done. And they preach that as the good thing. And they can, uh, the one, the new people here, they might get bewildered by them. So I'm not going to, I'm putting a stop to that stuff. Become a sincere follower, everyone. Everyone, become a sincere follower. You know? Otherwise, I don't, I don't want preaching, people preaching the wrong thing, preaching I should be an, an uh, what do they call it, pansy. Well, you want a pansy as a guru? You want a, uh, you know, a compromiser? You know? No way. We're preaching truth. That's why people are ecstatic here. You should be thinking, you know, why are people ecstatic here? Well, it's because I don't compromise. Yeah. 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 What? I, what do you think? I want more followers here? Uh, insincere people? People who want to, you know, take shelter? you know, other places and also here. And, you know, it's like, no, you, you come here and, and understand that you, uh, to go into the confidential teaching. Otherwise, you're a boat, you know, you're on, on a, you're, you, you can't do the Vaidhi thing and you can't do the Raganuga thing. You know, you got to do the Raganuga thing as the Raganuga thing. You have to have a spiritual master who's qualified, who is used by Krishna, and you got to surrender to them. You got to be convinced that this person is worthy to surrender, not not on this body thing, the, the spiritual. You got to surrender to their conception of preaching, and throw out your abandon your opinions, and then you can do this. Otherwise, you're not in the real thing, even though you're here in physical proximity. Those who abandon their opinions. See, we had some that couldn't. Remember Arjai? Same kind of thing. He had his own opinions. He get a little ecstatic. But look, look, he ended up undermining, you know, going knives in the back stuff. We have some of those here. You know, come on. You want to you wanna continue to be a backstabber? Or do you want to get real Krishna consciousness? So let's, uh, that, yeah, I like to see all everybody get this. But if you're like, you know, want to hold on to your opinion no matter what, people sometimes they've been here like five years holding on to their opinions, you know, and, and they won't let go. Well, yeah, we're going to, we're going to force the case here a little bit to, you know, like uh, put the pedal to the metal there and find out what's, you know, get to the truth, let the truth be manifest here. Let the truth win. Who's got the real opinion? See, the real opinion is shown by the result. If you're a backstabber, you know, that isn't, what, what kind of, what kind, that ain't the real, that's not the real opinion. See? The real opinion causes prema bhakti. So everybody, why wouldn't you accept the real opinions being preached here when it produces prema bhakti devotees? Come on, man. 
Wake up. <laughs> see, Amy, see, she should, that, that, isn't that, you know, she, 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 she loves it. She says, I won't cheat on you, boy, you know. This is, this is, this is, this is the mood. See, these devotees like Amy showing the real path. Thank you very much, Amy, for being who you are. And thank even the cheaters for being who you are because you're teaching, you're part of it. You know? But, you know, I got to make my comments so we can teach. That's part of teaching. Got to show the highest truth, distinguish from illusion. Got to show the real path from the false path, right? For everybody's benefit, for even the cheater's benefit, right? See, win win for everybody. I'm here, to, I'm here for the cheaters too. <laughs> Isn't it nice to have somebody here for everybody? It's unusual. You usually want to get rid of the, you know, get separate the sheep from the goats and get rid of them. No, no. We want the goats to become all, all sheep united under one truth. The one that works, right? So you gotta we should have a little bit see what you everybody, all of us, we should accept the best truth that works and gets the desired result of Krishna Prema, right? All Sanghas should do that. See? A transcendental tree does not produce bad fruit. A transcendental free tree doesn't even produce good fruit. You notice even the good fruits come over here to get more advancement. You notice? Even liberated souls will come here to make more advancement. That shows you how deep it is here. <laughs> <laughs> that shows you the extraordinary, amazing grace of Lord Chaitanya, which is here, you know, it's like, it's uncommon and unusual. Everyone should take advantage of it. You can, you can advance from Vaiti to, to spontaneous devotion like that here. Otherwise, you have to rise through many lifetimes of doing this Vaiti thing that Narayan rushed on to get where devotees are already at here. You could be here too. You could be at that place very fast. But you got to abandon whatever opinions that are in the way of getting the highest result, which is already manifest here, Krishna praying. Yeah, give me any student. We'll, we'll, we'll design a program for them, a curriculum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, what's my so isn't it beautiful how Prabhupada teaches it perfectly? See, as a devotee hears more and more about the Supreme Lord, he becomes enlightened. So that that can't stop. You see, Prabhupada taught, see, people he 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 taught and people were hearing, you know, do Vaidhi Bhakti, build temples. Follow the program, do ecodices, right? Bhakti Sana, same preaching. Hear more and more. See, more and more. But what is the what is the difference here? See, you're also hearing more and more. Is it the same message or is it the progressive message? See? You're hearing more and more confidential truths, just like you know, Bhagavad Gita was preached. More and more confidential truths. So devotees, if you that you move on, whether you're from the world or from religions, by hearing more and more progressive truth. So one is very fortunate. You come here because you're going to feel that progression. Here, it's not about blind belief. You will, you come and you listen here. You'll feel yourself if you really want to know. And you're not just coming here to be a big guru or something. You want to like a usurper. Or you want to preach your own ideas. You know, how about Krishna's ideas? That's what I like to preach. I don't want to preach my own ideas. I want to preach Krishna's ideas. I want to make Krishna's ideas my ideas. You know, I, why not? See, if I make Krishna's ideas and conceptions mine, see, then I got Krishna, right? Then I got the best, best, I mean, how can I be better? My, how can my ideas be better than Krishna's? 
He's the origin of all ideas. Why not take shelter? And the Acharyas have done that also. They made Krishna's ideas their ideas. Their ideas that they promote are Krishna's ideas, as it is. See, as it is. That's the secret of liberating yourself and others. Krishna's idea is not compromising the truth. That only will cheat people. He even wanted to show, this is how you cheat people. Oh, Ramachandra Puri, you're not really a bogus guru apparate. Oh, you're like a great, you know, this is, he acted like a fool. You know, uh, like who people, people they go to offend uh, devotees who are actual offenders of real devotees, and they take initiation from them and worship them. See, therefore, they're, they're, he left uh, Jagannath Puri the same as he came in, actually worse probably because he was offending pure devotees left and right. They couldn't wait to get rid of his association. They felt like, oh, God, he's out. He left this place. Can you imagine? Couldn't get the benefit. He, wa he leaves in illusion. See, and somebody was giving me the false conclusion and everybody, oh, you should just respect him because he, in the previous life, he was that. That ain't the real idea. No, the Lord wants us to learn from his lesson. You want to get benefit? Give respect to the real guru and the real devotees. Don't challenge them. You know, <laughs> don't consider them an ordinary person. If you come here long enough and really you really want the truth, then you will get purified. But if you come and you hold on to these false beliefs, the, the, it'll just fake you out and fake others out who listen to you, who believe in you. That's why the disciplic succession now is polluted by people like that. Well, I don't agree with Gohari Das. He should do it this way. See? Lack of faith. Okay. So, whoever is like that, you go and prove that you have a better way. Let's see the Krishna Prema you can produce from your preachings. Okay. Start from scratch like I did. You might even get more followers because, you know, the cheaters and the cheated, you know, they, there's more of that going on. It's hard to find the more sincere people. <laughs> so you want to become a sincere devotee? Learn from devotees like Lalita, you know, and those who are deeply ecstatic and conclusive. Learn from Amy. She's a good example. Make Amy your guru. You know, get her mercy. <laughs> I like this Ross, Amy, and Freddie have together there. <laughs> yeah. See, as a devotee hears more and more about the Supreme Lord, he becomes enlightened. Yeah, and so what's needed now, more and more of the confidential truths about who God is. What is Shuddha Bhakti? People need to know that, right? What is, the, see, the nature, the true nature of the Lord is a great mystery because he's Shuddha. He he's, he's, he's outside this whole universe, his energy. He's only perceived by a, an awakened devotee that he's actually awakened in. Only they can communicate that transcendental Lord to others. That's why Bhagavad Gita teaches the Supreme Lord is inconceivable and unattainable. We are all in that Lord, but he's not in us. But he's in his confidential devotee, his rare devotee. And therefore, he can be in you if you hear the vibration spoken about the absolute truth by such devotees. That Lord will awaken in you also. See, this is a preaching of Prahlad. This is on my preaching here. I take Prahlad's idea because he's a Acharya. I own it. I 
possess that. I preach that. See, therefore, Bhakti awakens in me because I'm committed to the, the ideas and the conceptions of pure devotees. It works. Hey, Pr Prahlad said, I listen to Narada, to, um, to Narada Muni in the womb even. And I became an ecstatic devotee. I really took his, his teachings to heart. And you can also become an ecstatic devotee if you listen to me. So isn't it? Look how simple the path is. So I preach the same thing. Because in another life, obviously, I heard from a devotee. And in this life, I just got the book and I became ecstatic. Okay? So I, in a sense, I hear from these, I believe that I've always, you know, from the, I had instant faith in Jesus, instant faith in Prabhupada, and instant ecstasy because of it. Just like those who have instant, you know, or very, or come to the level, whether, it, whether it's instant, or a week or a month or 20 years you come to the point of faith in this preaching from an ecstatic person that has genuine ecstatic devotion you also become ecstatic sincere faith that this person knows what he's talking about this person is used by Krishna Krishna comes as this person with such intimacy with a real guru in our Gaudiya Math line, Gaudiya, Gaudiya Vaishnava line, you can also have this ecstasy. That's what it says. Come to the point of this deep faith, then Vrindavan appears. You will become ecstatic like I'm ecstatic, maybe even more so. So the messages of the Supreme Personality of Godhead are full, this is poor court, are full of potencies. See, the messages of the Supreme Personality are full of potencies. So yeah, what messages are you listening to? See, messages, you know, when you write a message, there's different information on it, right? Different information. So what message are you hearing? So Prabhupada, Krishna through Prabhupada and, and Moses and Bhakti Siddhanta, he wrote messages. Oh, yeah. Here's the message. Here, world, whatever a great man does, come in and follow. Follow Vaidhi. Look at me. I'm following Vaidhi. Right? Bhakti Sana, very Vaidhi. Showing. Was he really? I mean, what was his heart? He was a, he was a resident of Vrindavan in ecstasy. But God, Krishna said, okay, here's the message. Vaidhi, follow sannyas. Take, take uh, well, follow uh, Vaidhi. Do rules and regulations. Build temples. Follow, follow these regulations and ceremonies and fire sacrifice. That's the message, right? You notice? Different message. That's why I get faulted. Oh, you see, Gohar is teaching a different message than Prabhupada. Of course. Of course. Here, here's the message. Raghunuga Bhakti, spontaneous devotion. Prabhupada ordered me to preach this. See, here's the message. This is how you do it. Take the message. See, whatever a great man does, come and then follow, right? Prabhupada followed Vaidhi. Bhakti Sam followed Vaidhi, and their heart was Raghunuga, but they taught Vaidhi. They followed Vaidhi, and they follow Vaidhi now, even to the days. They follow Prabhupada, right? The ceremonies and all that. And go Aridas, what message is here? I got Prabhupada said, Yeah, you're a spiritual master. You do the work now. Okay? Here's the message now. Spontaneous devotion. You do it. You you whatever a, a person does, uh, if the, the Lord empowers me to do what great personalities do, like he did, and like Nityananda and his followers, and I do that then people follow that like Lalita and River, what happens? See, the greater result happens. Isn't this a greater result than doing dry rules and regulations and dry chanting? 
See why? Because you're following the current message, the progressive message. Here you go. And Lalita and River say, yeah, we'll follow that. And some of the false followers in our Sangha, they look at the message, oh, I don't know, I don't agree with that. I have another idea. Well, that ain't Krishna's idea. I prove that this is Krishna's idea. She read this morning what Krishna's idea was. For a long time, I have not given this kind of devotion. And if I'm, I, I'm by, by relishing transcendental mellows, I'm going to favor my devotees. See, the Lord empowers fool Gorharinas, Gorharinas with transcendental mellows, to favor the devotees, right? And the devotees are getting the transcendental mellows and favoring the other devotees also. We got a lot of favors to give here. So take advantage, everybody. But of course, you got to have faith in real guru. Man. Yeah. Bottom line is, you know, like, hey, man, look at the result that's being produced here. See, so, so what if I scare some crows away? Scarecrow, right? Crows are ones who are, you know, they're, they, they, they like dirty things. So they got to have a scarecrow, right, to scare the crows away. So that's this preaching sometimes. Lord Chaitanya did it. He scared the crows away. Yeah, so he could be with real devotees. You know, it's kind of like, uh, you know, the uh, there was this uh, pastime with these Muslim shoulders with Christian, Christians. Uh, these Muslim shoulders were actually Christians and they came into a meeting and they said, they said, okay, everybody who will not renounce the name of Jesus, uh, oh, whoever will renounce the name of Jesus, you can go. And half of the group left. And then their half of said, no, we ain't running. Go ahead, shoot us. No problem. They stayed there. And then the Muslims laughed and they put down their guns. They said, we just wanted to worship with people who were not hypocrites. See? So they got rid of the hypocrites. So anyway, if any we got any hypocrites here or hypocritical, you can come. We want you to come in, you know, become a sincere follower. Not hypocritical. Okay. You know, get your ideas. Understand, like, look at the results coming here. Obviously, they're pleasing Krishna. If I was not pleasing Krishna in this preaching, why is Lalita so ecstatic or anybody else? Usually, the only reason people are not ecstatic with this preaching is because they, they're not abandoning their, their fallacious ideas, their inconclusiveness. That's the only reason. You know, oh, I don't know about Gorhari. He shouldn't be doing this. Yeah, well, who's doing it? Is it Gorhari? Or is it actually the Lord working through him? Yeah. Didn't it? Doesn't it say the Lord comes as a spiritual master to deliver you? Do you, know, you don't believe that's going on here? <laughs> well, yeah. <clears throat> You know, what's that saying? That's why, you know, there's, you're not getting the right ideas. <clears throat> you can see, let this be a lesson to the sincere followers or those who want to be. The real sincere followers will be conclusive. And those who are still holding on to their false ideas, even while here, will be inconclusive. They won't preach very good. And if you're lucky, you'll be able to tell the difference. If you're unfortunate, you won't, and you'll be polluted by their preaching. So you got to listen a long time here to get to that point. Sincerely. You know, there was a, somebody said, Jesus said this. He said, it's not only what you hear, 
It's how you hear. How are you hearing? See? Are you hearing? What is your intention, your motivation? Are you hearing to get the truth, understand the truth? Or are you hearing to challenge the truth? And then go, do you see what he said? And then you go to other members and say, you see, I don't know why you're trusting Guar. Look what he did in his past. How you hear. You should, everybody, even the hypocrites, ask Krishna, ask the Lord in your own heart. Please show me the real path. Am I right? Or is this Gohari Das really right? Ask the Lord to show you. Shamaguri did. She asked Prabhupada, is Gauri, is he, is he okay? <laughs> and he answered correctly. That's why she, she's going along really nice, right? She has increasing faith in what we're doing. That's what it's all about, increasing faith that what's going on here is real. See, and that's how you advance. And you're listening not to a vitey message. See, the message is the deeper one, the progressive one the more raganuga, spontaneous devotional one. Okay? And it's not you're just hearing it like, you know, some of these sanghas, oh yeah, rade, 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 but you don't see any ecstasy. You don't even know what it is. You know, proof that the Narayamaraj group and the, you know, the uh, say the Narayamaraj group, that they don't really get it, or that group with the Gorgavinda ones, if they see this ecstasy, they don't agree with it. See, so they don't really have it. If you did, you would appreciate this. That's how I, I have to preach the truth. I mean, you know, to give them an opportunity to analyze this situation. See, if, you, if you're a Raganuga Sangha with spontaneous purebhakti.com, why don't you like pure bhakti? Here it's manifesting. Why don't you like this? There's something not pure in your sangha, something not clear. So you come here, you'll, you'll learn, you'll get clear. So feedback, it's here. Give us a word, Lolita. Yeah, I'm sorry, Guru Varaj. Yeah, I'm sorry, Guru Varaj. <laughs> I'm coming from the other side. I'm coming from the other side. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Indeed, the Lord comes. Indeed, the Lord comes. As a devotee. Oh, there is As a, a devotee. Echo. Oh, there is an echo. Do you hear Oh, echo. echo. That's Do me. You hear that's echo? me. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Uh, let's see. Let me, uh... Let me uh, get my headphones here. That'll take care of it. Just a second. Uh. Yeah. yeah. About hearing. About uh, hearing. Uh, oh, there's still echo. Do you oh, hear? There's echo? Still yeah, Muna? You, uh, Muna? Yeah, no, no, it's me. It's me. It's me. I didn't finish okay. it. I wait. I wait. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, about hearing. Hearing, hearing, hearing. Hear only hear. And don't mix it with poison that you, because not everybody is strong enough to to digest that poison. You're not strong enough. You cannot digest, digest. You don't have to be there. The proof is there. The voters get poisoned by listening to other preachings too long, uh, going there, and then you see that their presence here 
is their their presence is um, lesser prominent here. They should they don't comment as much anymore. You don't feel that they are growing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, because of yeah, that. Yeah. And also, yeah, exactly. They're not. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, it's such a pity. It's such a pity that you have the opportunity to be here to to give the to get the full option to get <laughs> the full package, mm -hmm. and then you are going to dilute it by going somewhere else. Mm -hmm. While you lose them, while you while you did build up here, um, that yeah, yeah. Yeah, that that's the secret. And I think you, this is a good point. If you if you do like that, you you get contaminated, and you can you pass that contamination on here. And uh, and that's just it's like you know it's like especially when you go and you listen to those who are against what we do or they're not with what we do. Um, it's it's um, or criticism yeah, I mean, against like, you. Those who yeah. criticized you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you see, it comes out. Those who are doing that, they end up, you notice, they, they criticize me. Even So I, that was good to see that, actually, because that's the result of going and listening to those who are against it. I told people that you'll, you'll end up being offensive to real devotees because you're listening to those who are. That's why, you know, that... that Devotee that left with his girl girlfriend or something, you know, they, they uh, go and they listen Lent. over there. And I told, I, yeah, 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 and they don't they don't listen to this warning. So we have somebody people here that go back and forth like that, and uh, that's why they come and they give contempt. They go against their own guru. Well, I guess they don't really consider me guru. I don't, you know, why? <laughs> See, I. Yeah. If you think that you don't need a guru and you're not on the level like uh, that Lalita, then you're deluding yourself. You really are. Even though she, even though she's so ecstatic and so intimate with Rod and Krishna, still she's here and she gives honor. That's how the thing is. So people that don't are not at that level. They think they can do like that, and, and, and they, you're you're wait, you're spinning your wheels. You're wasting your precious time, and 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 doing a problem for the devotees here. Actually, this is that you know when you tell when you speak against the real guru here, you know, and how he's preaching and all that, and this is this this is a mood. See, it's it's an energy that you're just doing that because you listen to people who are doing that. You're contaminated. So how do you do? You got to hear, hear these conceptions, and follow these instructions. If you don't, then you go off, and you and you become a danger for people here, like new people, also. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, that was the thing we we did with Arjai. He was hearing, and then he had his own ideas, and he would kept them for himself. And I I didn't find out about him till later. And he prays with his mouth, but then behind my back, he had all these ideas that he was, you know, so great and all. It was impurified. See, very it caused sneaky. a lot of problem. Very sneaky, and and I that. So anyway, you want to do that path? Well, I'll, I might discourage people. I mean, you know, if you don't come up to the standard, I mean, if you've been around here five years or something, you know, come on, man. Yeah. You know, let's get real. Let's get, you know, that's like choose your path. You know, yeah. you want I don't want hypocrites here. Yeah. Lord Chaitanya only wanted the real followers. He threw out the milk drinker. He only wanted to and he kept them close, close, close. Yeah. With yeah. reason. Yeah. It's to show us. It's to show us. Uh, and you say, um, Lalita with her ecstasy, still she comes here, but it's because I come here that I have this ecstasy. It's because. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and, and so, yeah, basically is like, uh, take advantage of this opportunity, you know, and, and otherwise you're just uh, like a thorn in the side. 
come here and hear sincerely. And, uh, and uh, otherwise, anyway, people have their ideas and opinions, and uh, that's not a very good one. It just keeps you not progressing. Absolutely. People, no, uh, yeah, people think, yeah, yeah. Some people, they just have this thing. They want to be, uh, they think they're, they don't need a guru. You know, I had this one lady who, a nice devotee, so, you know, nice. And uh, um, she says, I don't, I just want to be your friend. I don't, I don't really need a guru. I'm ecstatic already and all this stuff. I don't really need a guru. Um so I just want to be your friend. And I thought, boy, that's really uh, interesting. And I said, well, okay, we'll come along. You know, let's see what happens. Experiment, you know. You know let's see what happens. And, and, and four or five times, the same thing. Always got offensive and left. Became, and, you know, being very critical and all, always left. All because she wouldn't become a real disciple and she needed to be. That's why I teach this. Ultimately, if you become a, 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 a real disciple, you can become a real friend of the Guru. If you don't become an intimate disciple um, or a real, well, well, you say disciple, really. Like, say, I'm really a follower of this person. Um, <clears throat> you can't become their friend. I see this over and over again. So if anybody here after five years can't doesn't consider themselves a, a real disciple, well, there you go. There's your shortcoming. Therefore, you will not get conclusion. You won't be conclusive in your understanding, and you won't be as ecstatic as some of the devotees who say, yeah, I'm a disciple of Kohari Das. I mean, you, that's as it should be. You know, that's as the scriptures teach. You know, and uh, if you're not, a, if you even if you're a disciple of Prabhupada, and you're not ecstatic like Lalita and other devotees here, and which usually they aren't, you gotta have a shiksha guru. You gotta say, I am a, I'm a shiksha disciple of Gohari Das, who's teaching Raghunuga Bhakti and how to quickly attain spontaneous devotion. I am like that. You know, if you're not like that, you'll, you'll die of Vaidhi Bhakti or you'll die in delusion, being deluded. And so if you've been here five years ago and you can't say, I'm a real disciple, all glories to Gohari Das. You know, not that I'm saying I want the, you know, no, if that's for your benefit, my friends. If you don't feel that in your heart, because yeah, so if you uh, say that, you'll get, yeah, from your heart. If you say that from your heart, you'll get the experience because it's true. It's the Lord loves to praise his devotees and you're, he's doing that through you. And that's proof that that's a real devotee. The devotees experience being liberated just by glorifying their guru. See, so anyway, that's the point of coming to that realization. It's real here. It's not fake. So, you know, so um, otherwise, what is your preaching? You know, you get up and you just, uh, you can't preach like that. So River says, if you're saying somebody like Lalita does not need a guru because of her position. Uh, see, again, you didn't hear what I said. No, no, no. Let you know, me explain it. You didn't hear what I said. Um, I need um, guru like if everybody you, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. If she, if she would have come into this life uh, like ecstatic like she is, then I would say, yeah, well, she could just pick up the scriptures and she got the result of having guru. Okay, yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, so that's good. Good clarification. Yeah, so um, just like for myself, obviously, I, I came and I got the books and I became ecstatic. Still, there were some kinks to work out because I had no role model. Everybody, even Lord Chaitanya had some problems. People couldn't confirm it until Srivast confirmed it. Um, so, and and even Madhavinda Puri, Krishna himself confirmed it. He came in a lucid dream. Because no living person could confirm that for Madhavinda Puri either. This is very special. This is very uncommon. Yeah. So, so, 
if you're not like that now, like now, if she comes back in the next life, what, what is she? Why does she need a guru to, to go through the same thing to get it? I mean, she if she found ecstatic devotee, she would be the by like a bee to honey. Why not? You know, <laughs> but she doesn't have to go through the preliminaries. She will naturally treat devotees with great respect and honor and appreciation. See, that's her heart now. Her heart is Krishna's heart. Her heart is Radha's heart. Naturally, it's her nature. Okay? So you carry on into your next life. Now, most of Vaishnavas are not like that. They're not. They're not like that. So therefore, to get like that, you need to have a bona fide shiksha guru, especially here, that's given this, and this is now. And then you get purified so you can come up to that platform. Yeah, and also about hearing, I wanted to say, don't hear with your own agenda. Be here to hear what you say and forget what you knew from before. Because otherwise, you're uh, all, just try to forget it and, and, and drink this new... Thing. Yeah. Because otherwise you're always discussing in your head. Yes, but yes, but yes, but. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know when Lord Chaitanya preached in South India, this is how he preached. He would he would show the ecstatic devotional service. He said, "Well, this is what's being offered," and he preached these principles that we preach. Same preaching. And, and uh, whoever started to abandon their opinions, they could take to this path. But if you don't abandon your own opinions and replacing them with the opinions as it is of Krishna that come through his, the real guru and develop faith in the opinions of a real guru, then you're checked in your advancement. See? So you have to be increasingly convinced about the opinions of a experienced devotee here. I mean, you know, this, otherwise uh, you, you're thinking, you know, it's like it's, it's not even logical. It's like, well, you know, I'm not as ecstatic or empowered as this guru, but I think my opinions are still better. That's not even logical. It's not even, it's like, oh, really? Well, well these opinions got the result of Krishna Bhakti. This, these opinions have the result of communicating this bhakti to others. So therefore, these opinions are the ones to accept. And I don't claim that they're, they're coming from me, but they, they're coming from the Lord. And I, I, he reveals these things. See, that's, uh, that, he reveals what is not being revealed to even gurus and sannyasis and brahmins in most of these groups. That's why our preaching is unique. But these opinions get the desired result of Krishna Prem, whoever takes them to heart. Proof is in the pudding. See? Proof that God is working here. That's what Jesus did. Jesus said, well, you don't believe my word? How about the results the Lord is doing? Well, it was the same thing here. Oh, you don't believe my preaching? You don't believe these opinions? You don't believe these are Krishna's opinions? Well, how about the works the Lord is doing? Radha and Krishna are waking in the devotees who do believe in these things. These are the works God is doing. He's the gardener inside. He's the one who awakens, right? If he wasn't pleased with what I was preaching, why is he awakening? Why is why do you see a big smile on Lalita's face? So, River, give us a word. Is it true in order to accept your opinion we have to go through purification? Absolutely. So then when I go, when, you know, when I go through purification, uh, things happen. And um, mm -hmm. I'm only doing that. I'm only going through purification to accept your opinions deeper and deeper. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this. And um, it right. seems like exactly. I, know. I wouldn't be doing this because if I disturb people or offend people or something happens, well, 
you know, I'm doing it because of going through this process for you, for this path, for the 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 collective agenda of of uh, delivering yeah. the world. I'm not going through it because I think it's fun and I think it's great. I'm going through it because now I am I have been claimed by the Lord. He makes me go through things. I cannot help certain things, and um, yeah. that's what's happening. And you know, it seems like I show. I don't know. I show mind. I talk about my opinions. I'm only doing it to be able yeah. to be more for the 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 whole the whole not the individual but the whole the whole mm -hmm. thing what lolita was saying before mm -hmm. don't don't listen on your own agenda i listen to be able to become be able to go through through these processes yeah and um, so yeah that is the only thing and sometimes it's like you go through the processes and you get demonized for going through the process Mm -hmm. And then yeah. that kind of puts you back. It kind of seems like it puts mm -hmm. you back, but it's, it push, puts you forward. There just seems movement. Yeah. There's movements of listening, yeah. and accepting and yeah. purifying yeah. and not liking, yeah. being covered again and not being yeah. able to hear again. Yeah. And then going yeah, through yeah, yeah. and then hearing again and then hearing again mm -hmm. and being in that place of accepting yeah, yeah. and accepting. Yeah. <laughs> this has been my yeah. whole path you know here and it seems to be going on and on um i don't know why and it, it's going on for everybody else but i'm so like i just want to get through this as quick as possible yeah. it doesn't seem to be whilst it seems it doesn't seem to be quick enough it is really really fast according to you know this path yeah. it is really 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 fast um yeah. it's yeah i don't like being in this place of uh, nobody does of the purification. It's quite intense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's, um, you know, what, it's, what you could do, maybe, maybe, you know, what you could do, maybe to come off where people can understand it better is give them a warning and just say what you, like you're doing here, you know, like when you're going through something, just say, I just need to get this out and it's nothing, you know, personal. I'm just kind of like, if you can do it, it might help um, in, in, um, relationships uh, because a lot of people if they, they just see it seems so like like uh you know like intense you know it's like uh and, and kind of a mean uh but if you say you know i just got this stuff inside i just need to get it out um uh, yeah then maybe give them a heads up on it or something see you might, don't you don't know when it's gonna happen it. You cannot give somebody a heads yeah, up. That's a problem. Gonna happen. I'm growing up. Yeah. I'm learning what you had just said. You know, my sister used to uh -huh. talk about this stuff. What you, and my sister used to speak oh. about it, about growing up. I didn't understand it. Yeah. Now I'm actually, through experience, uh -huh. growing up. And in that growing up, uh -huh. I act like a child and things like that. And we all do. And all I'm saying yeah. is, sometimes when we're told that you're mean and you're being self-centered and you're you're being a victim yeah. and you're doing these things it makes you want to leave the path it makes right. you want to leave yes. here it really does and mm -hmm. i don't i've been listening every day for five years i've been going through so many things you know these things mm -hmm. i'm only going through it so i can get closer to krishna you know mm -hmm. so what do i do shall i just shut up and not do a class and just listen you know we can do that as well you know i don't know i i'm at that place right now today at that place where mm. i'm doing my best really yeah. i'm doing my best but somebody is not gonna like it somebody is not gonna yeah. be pleased somebody is gonna be yeah. triggered somebody is gonna be upset right i'm not i don't want to be blamed for all of that stuff anymore i've had enough mm. of that now not being blamed well, for that. Know, What's the point of going through this path? What's the point of going through this path? Is everybody's just going to come down on you when you try to it? You try to go through stuff. Not, I don't. Not think everybody. That's... Just, just, just maybe beginners that are just coming to the path. They won't, may not understand. But that's sometimes you know, I don't. Understand. It's like uh, sometimes yeah, I don't understand. Then, then, yeah. And you're saying I have you been here got... for five years and I should understand. Well, if somebody can put themselves in my position with 
the 20 million things I have to deal with um, as well as being on this path as well, because I don't want to deal with all of those hundred things that we have to deal with. I want to be on this path. I want to go through this purification, but people just, if they just demonize you, then I just think it makes it harder, makes it harder. For me, well, it's making it harder. It's, it's, I'm going yeah. through many things. Not, not everybody's demonize you. Maybe some new people, they just don't understand and they th find it intense. You know, and that's why, you know, this is just, like you say, you're getting through it. Um, you know, like, um, yeah, so, yeah, it's not a thing of being, de uh, maybe some people, I, I don't know any, is there anybody demonizing you? I don't know anybody doing that. Even Maria, you know, she didn't uh, demonize you. She says, well, you know, this is just too intense for me. And uh, I just, she's kind of like, uh, I need distance from that. That's all. She yeah, accepted your apology, actually. She was intense for me. Huh? She was intense for me. It was intense. And I was triggered. But you don't want to believe that in me. You don't want to believe my experience. You know. And I believe your experience. I believe it was intense for you. Again, yeah. Yeah. It's See, again, you you know. Anyway, part of the, the growing up is. Just accept your experiences. You know, I'm not see here to play like your father. You know, I, mean, I don't this, want you to be my father. You keep saying that. You've been yeah. saying that from the yeah. first time. Well, you know, well, you are you not my father. You you're show my me. spiritual father. You gotta show me. Yeah. Then show me something different. Show me that you're not looking for daddy's approval. You show when you show me that, then I'll see that. When you say you don't, you that's like you know looking for daddy's approval still. Maybe so, you don't know that. What if I need it? What if I need it now and again? Okay, well that's fine. You know. What if fine. I need saying, some kind of advice now and again? You know. I, you know. No, I really want to well, know. There's nothing wrong with it. With the, with my daddy's approval thing. With my situation, Maharaj, with this machine and all these things that are going off in my life to do with this, mm -hmm. does that affect me understanding this path? Yeah, you know, does no, it? I, I just want you to you ask know, you yeah. a question because there's so many things that well, happen, I, I, there's so many avenues that yeah. are not available for me. Does it affect me on this path? Does it? No, I'm asking you. You're my guru. Uh, well, I'm, my guru. well, yeah, I'm asking you. It's your experience. So it's your experience. You're asking me to understand your personal experience. Does it affect you? I'm, you know, you know, I don't know. You tell me what you're I don't know. Is. Because when I go through certain things, because I'm not weeing, I don't have all of these things that most people do. I'm not doing all of these. I've actually denied most of my life. I've been denying I'm sick. I've been denying it, you know, and I've come to the crunch of, okay, I'm sick. This things happen. You haven't got these things. It will change things in you. It will change things in you. I am trying to realize what is it? Okay, we're not sick because I'm the Jiva soul. This is the human body. It's the human body. So in a way, I'm not sick, you know, I'm not sick. But in a way, my consciousness is, is in that place of, yes, I am sick. You know, there's this confusion. There's confusion in people denying you're sick. Well, actually, I'm not really sick because I'm a, I'm a Jeeva soul. But right now I am sick. I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused because it doesn't seem... Um, I want to know. I want my father to tell me, you know, Yamuna, the things that you're going through, they're a bit of a problem sometimes, you know, a bit of an issue. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's, um, there you go. Your father just sounds like your father told you. So there you go. Yeah. Your yeah. Well, no, but only, 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 only I can accept right. my difficulties. Others can't accept your difficulties. So, well, you know, that's just life. You know, you, you have to just, you know, be okay with, with not always getting everybody's approval. You get, you got to get your own approval between you and God. So that Accept helps you yourself grow up. as you are. Yeah. That's something yeah, I'm learning thing, to yeah. do. That's not an easy yeah. thing, Maharaj. You said that I'm a yeah, suppressed well. Indian lady. Well, the amount of suppression is just overwhelming. 
And, you know, and I'm learning that what you just said, you know, and I'm coming mm -hmm. out of all of these things. Um, but it seems really like sure. when you're coming out, you're buried again by the material world. You're trying to come out and you're buried again. And um, it's um, in feeling the way I do right now. I want to leave. I want to leave and I've had enough. I want some, I want to be comforted mm -hmm. or have some pacification. I've come off the machine again, mm -hmm. but you know, really I'm not sick. You know, this is not sick. This is a form of my, my consciousness. This is the way my consciousness has developed into the way my life mm -hmm. is, you know, in goodness, passion mm -hmm. and ignorance. And now one is tr learning to transcend those things. But what do I do? Shall I stop dialyzing and see, see what happens? No, yes, yes, yeah, we might yeah, laugh. Yeah, yeah. We laugh at me. That's true, yeah, yeah, though. That's true. Yeah, yeah. You know, you no, said no, you said true. I was mean. Yeah. It was you that said I was mean. Um, you know, you just um, just relax a little bit. That's no, what I'm, I would say. You know, just you're I'm so trying you're trying to, to figure you. things out. Well, you can't figure it out with your mind. You know, why not just relax and just. Hear and chant. The machine and doesn't let me relax. That's what I'm yeah. asking you. The machine constantly yeah, doesn't well, let me relax. Well, then do the best you can with a bad bargain. What are you going to do? We're all doing the best we can with a bad bargain. You know? Just do the what you can do with a bad bargain. You know, it's your situation. The Lord has given you ecstasy. Yeah, and uh, do what you can do. I, I, you know what I kind of feel is you got this thing. You, uh, that you got to get it now and you got to for it, you know, is this, is, it's just going to happen naturally, these things. You don't have to force yourself to become no, you enlightened don't. and to become, you know, just relax and just, you know, do the best you can with the bad bargain that you got. Or, you know, that's what Prabhupada taught. You know, we have our situation, whatever that is. That is truth, Maharaj, absolutely. But I have been conditioned to believe that I'm so sick that I'm going to die at any moment. At any moment, I'm going to die. I've been living the life of, well, Yamuna, you've got no kidneys, you know, and you're on a machine. That's not actually normal life, you know. It's not normal. That's not a normal thing. So I live, and I, you, I'm, ask, I'm answering your question, I live the way you said because I feel I'm, my, I'm going to leave my body at any moment now it's more than ever before because of things that are happening. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave my body. And you say, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Okay, it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter. With this, with, I didn't say that. You put words in my mouth. No, if we don't um, leave, no, if we leave our body, that. you know, I've been saved. I've you saved my soul. Uh, it doesn't matter if I leave my body now. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Well, you know, I don't. Okay, so you what you don't want to preach? You don't like this preaching thing? You don't want to help with the mission here? Well, if, you know, I need to I need to accept myself and this is what is happening to me. In my growth towards Krishna, I go through all of these experiences because my programs are really deep rooted. Those weeds can be mm -hmm. deep rooted. When I've spent my life in the hospital with their knowledge, and then I come here yes. for the last ten well, with you for five years. You know, I think I'm doing well, well yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah, I think you're doing fantastic, you know. And th so, you know, just go on and uh, whatever condition you there, every day is a new opportunity to get released more and get more bhakti. You know, this grows more and more and more, you know. So while you're here, do what you can do. I mean, the Lord is providing you a situation. You can dialyze at your home. you got a hospital there, and facilities there, and... You know, use what you have to advance more and more and more and, and help with the preaching like you're doing. So um, I think as you're going through things, you'll feel more inspired to like that, you know. It's, a, it's, it's not in every opportunity you get uh, to just have this situation. You know, a lot of people don't have the situation with a healthy body, and you do. You know, that's... Sounds to me that Krishna is very merciful. He, he is very, very, very merciful. 
it, he is very, very merciful. And it's not him. It's me that doesn't think I'm good enough. It's me who wants to play out a good person in front of others. It's me that, that actually that doesn't happen. The goodness, the good person, it seems to be always the bad one. Um, happens yeah you know yeah, you know yeah, hiding yeah. away the good you know trying to be good hiding away the bad person you know and the bad person yeah, yeah, wants yeah. to come forward you know and it's about transcending yeah, yeah. Both those things transcending them i am doing my best yeah. you know what i really yeah. today i really feel like i want to leave today i yeah, feel like maybe. i want to leave yeah. i don't want to listen anymore <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I don't want to listen anymore, and I don't care what everybody. Tomorrow doing. morning you go live, <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe, maybe I will. Maybe, maybe I will. <laughs> yeah, you need I to go live, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so much no, it's so much I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> you can laugh it's kind of kind of cute. I know. It's you just kinda... laugh at me. No, no, no. You know? It's just kind of cute. It's like a, it's like a little, Every time like a little you child. Say, I don't want. I don't want to eat it. He's more spinach. No, yeah, well, you know what? Spinach, you know? I will stop dialyzing. I will stop no, dialyzing. No, 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 Every you time you say it, I mean, you're like, 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 like,
your your devotion is present you are your soul is present you yeah. are present yeah you're just being real i think it's great you know be real you know this is this is what you're going through this is your re your truth <laughs> yeah I'm not surprised. I am not surprised people keep wanting to be a good person. I'm not surprised they want to be a good person. I'm not surprised they just hide these things. I hide all of this. So I'm not surprised they do that. Because I have this knowledge. And I still do that. Well... <laughs> You're a better person. You're a transcendental one. <laughs> yeah. You're an advanced devotee there, River. That's why you got to show people. They'll just be themselves. Let it out. I want my purifications to go through without me knowing now. I don't want to analyze my purification anymore. I just want them to good, go good. through. Yeah, yeah. Just, it would like, be great to be purified without knowing it. <laughs> I want to be purified <laughs> without knowing what's it. Yeah. Mm. Let's see here what we got back here. Mm. See, like Amy Rose says, if they criticize you, then it's like them saying you aren't authentic, that you don't know what you are talking about, which couldn't be further from the truth. Not thinking better than Guru, thinking they are better than Guru. Otherwise, you wouldn't criticize. Yeah. yeah. I'm growing up. It's like the Truman. I am growing up live on camera. I'm growing That's up right. live this on is camera. A, this is the River Yamuna show. <laughs> we all got our show. Actually, isn't it great? We all got our, our, our program. <laughs> <laughs> Only if... Um, yeah, we do have our authenticity, but only really if we um, <clears throat> surrender to Krishna through you. Only that way. And then we can have our own show, which is linked to the major show. We yes. can have your corporation. <laughs> You're the corporation and we are the branches. So we can have our branch, uh -huh. but linked to your branch. Yeah. To, your, yes, yes. to the tree. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's good. All right, so um, I think it's a, a time I have to move around a little bit here. Oh, okay, um, thank you for coming, everybody. Hey, we got 19 people on YouTube, I guess. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, Thank you very much. Smash the like button if you haven't already. And uh, share this with your friends. <laughs> <laughs>